Frederick, we're here in front of a RoboJob Milisys. We've seen these loads in the UK, but what's so special about this one behind us? All right, great question. You have seen the Milisys a lot of times in the UK already. It's a proven product for over 10 years already. But now we've upgraded it with a vice loading option, meaning that you can not only do workpiece loading anymore, but also load your manual vices in a zero point system. So basically you've got a two in one option here. So we're changing the workpiece as well as changing the work holding, aren't we? Yeah, absolutely. So the option will bring you a new set of inlays, we call them, where you can mount devices and it will bring you a new gripper, which already fits onto your existing Millicy system. So you can upgrade even an existing system. So if I have one of these at home, we can upgrade the original one? Yes, you can. Brilliant. There's another question I want to ask you. We're working with zero point work holding, aren't we? Why are we working with zero point? Well, we've seen a lot of customers. Everyone's very happy with the workpiece loading, but we see that sometimes the OP20 might bring some difficulties with clamping it in a pneumatic vise. And that's why we bring manual vices to the Millicy system. So it allows them to do the OP20 as well as the OP10. Yeah? So even if it's hard to clamp on a pneumatic vise, they just use the optional yeah, the option, and they can load into the machine the difficult parts. So that's brilliant. So we've got a pneumatic vice as well. So how does that help an applications engineer clamp their work, clamp, sorry, their component? Well, they can decide which one to use. So they can decide the best option is always the workpiece loading is easiest to set, faster setup times, of course. But if they have more difficult parts and they don't quite figure out how to do it pneumatically, they just go over to the vice loading option and they use that one. Brilliant. I also forgot to mention as well, this is an MTD first. So MTD, like I said, we've seen robo jobs before, but we've never seen the mill assist. How easy is it to set up with the sizing of the workpiece and the sizing of the work holding? Well, the great thing is that you can even, if your machine allows you to do program selection, you can even put different parts into the system right now. So for the, for the, vice, for the manual vice holding, you can use different parts into the system and we can select the right machining program based on which vice the robot is gripping. So we have some tape on the floor, right? Normally with these sort of setups, when I step in, the machine automation stops. Yep. But this one's a bit different, isn't it? Yeah, we try to imagine an operator who doesn't know the system. At some point, someone will be running around the factory who isn't aware of how the system works. He wants to take a measurement of one of the parts to make sure that everything is running well. He can just walk into the system, the robot will safely come to a stop. Whenever he's done taking his measurements, he just walks out of the system, robot restarts automatically. How easy is this system to program? It's very easy. So we even don't like speaking about programming, we speak about configuration. Perfect. Because actually it's all visual what you do. If you were to have a collision, it's already visible in 3D in the software before the robot starts moving. 